Okay, so welcome back to the uh, lesson on solving systems of equations using elimination. And so uh, you have hopefully at this point attempted examples D and E and the uh, example number two, the word problem. And so what I'll do is I'll take you through the uh, steps in the solution of these examples at this point. Okay, and so um, as, uh, as always, what we want to do is start off by ensuring that uh, the two equations are in standard form, ax plus by equals c, both of these are. Um, in this case, if we were to either add or subtract the equations, neither the x's nor the y's would be eliminated. And so what we're going to do in this case is um, uh, uh, our additional step of multiplication or division. Um, and so uh, typically we use multiplication, again, to avoid uh, fractions. And so what we can do in this case is select either to line up the y's or the x's. It doesn't matter. And so what I'm going to do in this case is eliminate the y's. And so in order to eliminate the y's, I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3 and I'm going to multiply this second equation by 2 and hopefully if you look carefully you'll see why it is that I'm interested in doing that um, 3 times 2y for the first equation will give me 6y or in fact minus 6y 2 times 3y will give me plus 6y and then when I add the equations I'll be able to eliminate those uh, variables or that variable and so I must however follow the rules of equations and multiply all of the terms by 3 and so that's going to result in uh, 18x minus 6y is equal to 3 similarly um, 2 must be multiplied by each of the terms in the second equation resulting in minus 4x uh, plus 6y equal to minus 10 uh, in this case I'm going to then Add those two equations, 18x plus minus 4x will leave me 14x, minus 6y plus 6y will cancel, and 3 minus 10 is going to leave me with minus 7. I will divide by my unwanted factor, and I will obtain my answer of x equals minus 1 half. Uh, I'm going to substitute that back into as... Uh, mentioned before either equation would be fine and so this time uh, just for a change I'll substitute back into the second equation minus 2 uh, x plus 3 y equals minus 5 and what I'm going to do is substitute in my value of minus 1 half and minus 2 times minus 1 half will leave me with 1 uh, plus 3y equals minus 5 3y will equal minus 6 if I subtract y, uh, subtract 1 from both sides divide through by the unwanted factor and we have a y value of minus 2 written as an ordered pair x is minus 1 half y is minus 2 and so as you can see from the solution you cannot entirely avoid fractions but um, certainly uh, we can avoid working with them as much as possible. Okay, and now to the uh, penultimate example, the most difficult of all, uh, in that it also requires some rearranging first. And so I'm going to just rewrite the first equation. It's in the correct form, um, and then rearrange and rewrite the second equation. Minus 5x plus 9y is equal to 5 and so I've moved the 5x from the second equation to the left hand side the equations now line up in terms of being in standard form and what remains to be done is to uh, get one of the variables to match so to speak and so this time we'll get rid of the x's I'll multiply the first equation by 5 the second equation by 3 and again I must multiply each of the three terms, so 15x minus 35y is equal to 25 in the second equation, distributing through by the value of 3 minus 15x, which is what we expected for them to be able to cancel, uh, plus 
27 y is equal to 15 I'll add my two equations the x's will cancel uh, minus uh, 35 uh, y plus um, 27 y is going to give me minus 8 y is equal to um, 40 and therefore y is equal to minus 5 substituting back we have a 3x minus 7 times y is equal to 5 uh, once again we'll substitute in our y value minus 5 and solve the resulting equation and so we have 3x is equal to minus 30 and divide through by the 3 x is equal to minus 10. Okay, and so as we've done in all of the others, that could also be written as an ordered pair. Okay, and now to our final problem um, for the lesson, or final example rather. And so what we're going to do now is um, take care of our word problem by translating it first and foremost into a linear system and then solving that system. Okay, so we have a sports equipment store that's having a sale on soccer balls. A coach purchases uh, 10 soccer balls uh, and two uh, ball bags and pays a total of $155. Um, a second coach or another coach purchases 12 soccer balls and three ball bags and pays a total of $189 and so what we have here um, fairly obviously is a system of linear equations um, uh, using the substitution method would again result in fairly complex fractions and so what we're going to do is use our elimination uh, method and so um, Again, we can either eliminate the soccer ball variable or the ball bag variable. Um, I'll choose in this case to eliminate the ball bag variable and so I will multiply the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 2. Uh, of course, you could also multiply one of those by a negative. Uh, alternatively, we could uh, subtract the equations and that's what we're going to do. So in this case, I'll distribute as I did before 30 SB plus 6 BB uh, and that is going to give us 465 dollars uh, so that's 3 by 155 uh, and then the second equation will distribute by our uh, value 2 we have 24 SB plus 6BB and uh, we have a total cost of $378 uh, or the, in the rearranged equation. At this point what we're going to do is take our first equation, subtract the second equation 30SB minus 24SB leaves us with 6SB 6BB minus 6BB will cancel which of course is um, uh, by design um, and then we have 465 um, minus uh, 378 um, leaving us with um, 87 okay divide through by our unwanted factor of 6 and so a soccer ball uh, is going to cost 14 dollars and 50 cents, 87 divided by uh, 6 and uh, we've also been asked to find the cost of a soccer ball bag and so now we must substitute back into one of our uh, equations. I'll select the first equation um, and so we have uh, 10 times the soccer ball price um, 10 times our soccer ball price plus 
two uh, ball bags is going to give us a total cost of 155 and so we have 145 plus 2 EB equals 155 rearrange the equation and we are able to figure out that a ball, by, ball bag costs five dollars and a soccer ball costs fourteen dollars fifty cents okay and at this point your focus should be on working on the level two assignment